This is the most advanced table saw I have ever seen. Wait till you see all the features this has. I'm here with Mr. Brad Snyder from Altendorf with some of the coolest technology I've seen on table saws to date. I appreciate you stopping by the booth. What we got here? This is the Altendorf handguard system. It is a preventative system instead of a reactive one to save these. It's the only one of its kind, unique. It does not utilize any kind of capacitive system. It actually utilizes cameras with an AI algorithm to monitor and track your hand, even if your hand is not quite, you know, right. So let's just go through. It's got computer programming right here. You can store your programs if you have uh, regular cuts that you make on a daily basis, store that information in here. But we'll get down to the nitty gritty of what you really want to see. Start the saw. Let it come up to speed. We have an LED feedback light. That LED is telling me that the saw is on, but everything is safe. As I go through here, it's green, it's yellow. Saw is spinning, it does not see a hand. It's green, it sees a hand and it says you're safe. You yeah. can make the cut. So, as I walk through, nothing happens. It's perfectly fine. It will allow me to make a cut a little, slightly closer, but it's telling me, don't go any further. Yeah. So I can make that cut too. I'm moving slow. Let's say I get in a dangerous area. I've made a million cuts. I'm an old dog. I know how these tricks work. So I don't need to listen or worry about nothing. I got it. I put my hand way too dang close and I move it way too fast. Oh, wow. I will not get to the point of cutting myself. Yeah. And that doesn't ruin your blade. It doesn't do anything. We call it a drive system. It is not dropping. It is driven down. It is 250 kilograms that motor assembly weighs, and it is moving fast. Right. It does not bottom out. For an industrial purposes, when it activates and I reset it, it takes about 10 seconds for me to be cutting again. Really? So you're back on the job. And then I, I kick it back on. And right I, now. I go change my shorts. <laughs> yeah. And I get back to work. So right now, this is just industrial setting, right? Yeah, well, I mean, For if you're a hobbyist yeah. and you, you got the money, by all means, brother, I will ship it. I promise you that. Uh, that's not the only interesting thing about this whole machine, right? You was talking about the guide rail system and, and how oh, well this is balanced. In this all of our saws, Wilhelm Altendorf invented the sliding table saw. The progenitor of this company invented it about 118 years ago. The system that is underneath this sliding table is what I consider sets us apart from everyone else. It's a double dumbbell roller system. If you think of like looking at train and the uh, wheels that are on the train, that's kind of what it looks like. They're about yay big, beefy, overkill. Yeah. But this system will last 50 years. I told you, I walked into a shop, guy had two from 1986, yeah. seven, working like a top. Yeah. All the forces of this table are fed directly at, uh, perpendicular to the ground. It's equally distributed. It's e but, there you go, yeah. it's equally distributed, not at any angles. Right. This tabletop will hold 250 kilograms. I can move it with a finger. How many pounds is that? Yeah, two, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, I'm from Texas and the kilograms, I'm like, sure, that's a lot, I know that. I'd say 500 and something, yeah. you know, give or take. A lot of weight. Not a lot of weight. We can, we can get the capacity up to 500 kilograms if we want. The reason for the engineering that's involved in this machine is to make it repeatable, accurate, and the quality of cut over and over and over again for many, many years. A CNC machine base, it's not bolted together. It is a single unit now. Oh, okay. That adds the torsion resistance. That gives you, again, squares. Right. Problem in all of our shops yeah. at times. We have CNC rip fins on this side. We have the capability of actually making one or two stops CNC control. These are our manual right now on this particular element. Instead of using an eyeglass, let's say you have multiple employees. Everybody's going to read that scale a little bit different. You get it, uh, let's say you want 29 and a half. Go ahead and get it close. We can fine tune it up where it needs to be. Put it right in the center of that channel. And now you can push it forward. Everything's fine, perfect. You're going to make that cut, no problem. It will not activate. So now we drag it back. Let's say, let's get it back further. Because it's actually, we have a scoring unit, which is a little bitty uh, a blade that just barely comes up. So it will activate if I, uh, if I get too close to do this. So from right here, 
Go ahead and just put your hand like that. Okay. Run it forward. Go for it. Get after it. <laughs> it's terrible. It's it's terrifying the first time. Again, all this over engineering equates to a machine that's going to last forever and a sliding table saw that you don't have to worry about yeah. because it's an open system. Dust, particles, they're going to get in there. There's a lot of maintenance that you have to deal with with this system. Once every three, four, five years, take some compressed air and blow it in there. <laughs> that's it. I know it's tough. It's tough. <laughs> Go ahead, Super if you nice. would, give it, give it a push. Try the slide out for me. Yeah, smooth as both. You could push it one hand, one finger, yeah, whatever you like. Do me a favor, bring it all the way back. No, bring it all the way back. My athletic body that I have worked so hard for is roughly 260 pounds. I'm going to sit all the way on the end here. Would you mind putting me down there at the other end, please? It's still smooth, like you can't even feel it. There's no difference, is there? Uh, no, There's no difference. Zero difference. So being this weight all the way at the end, you still can't feel a difference. Yeah. It just speaks to the quality, the craftsmanship, and the engineering overall. Yeah. Our concept of this double dumbbell roller system was the same concept that Wilhelm Altendorf invented. Yeah. We have only changed materials, just iterations. Why change perfection? Yeah. Awesome, man. Thank, Thank you, you so much for stopping by. I, re I really do appreciate it. Now, I know a lot of you want to know how much this costs. Well, this is for commercial applications and not for the hobbyist or even a small scale production. So with that in mind, these are quite expensive. Now, my hope is that they bring this technology, specifically the hand detection technology to lower models at some point in the future. Let me know in the comments or you can text me your thoughts on this. I have some really cool tools to show you that I saw at AWFS Fair coming soon. Be sure to hit that subscribe button.